Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up, so we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. So we lift our holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name, Blessed be the name, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, Blessed be the name of the Lord. To be praised and adored, so we lift our holy hands in one accord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Of my salvation, say, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock, say, Blessed, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Come on, lift your hands and say, Come, let's magnify the Lord, for He, for He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock. 
rock. Yes, Say, Lord. Blessed, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, say blessed, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, oh blessed, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Say blessed. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Bless the name of Jesus. Because you are holy. Oh, so holy. You are holy. Because you are holy. Oh, so holy. Worship as your throne, to be called into your presence as your own. Cause you are holy, you are holy, you are holy. As your own, you are holy, you are righteous, you are righteous, oh, so righteous, you are righteous, oh, so righteous, and it's a privilege, it's a privilege and an honor to worship. Your Lord, to be called into your presence as your own. You are righteous. Say you are faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful.
had a dream this morning. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Lift your hands and worship Praise your God, God this morning. You. Glorify your God this morning. Praise Hallelujah. God. We give you glory. Hallelujah. There are days Praise that we just want to be in His presence. Hallelujah. There are days when we just want to be closer God. to Him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So there are days when we recognize that we can't do without Him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Anybody recognize this morning that you can't do without Him? A minute or a day. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah, want to cry out for Him this morning. Somebody want to encounter with Him this morning. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody that will say, you are all that I want. You are all that I ever need. Hallelujah. You are all that I want, God. Hallelujah. Help me know that you are near this morning. Somebody want to feel you, God. Hallelujah. Somebody, God, want to encounter you this morning. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Anybody thirsty this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody thirsty this morning? Hallelujah. Somebody just concentrate on him this morning. We want to be closer. Hallelujah. We want to be closer drawn to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody said just a closer walk. Just a closer walk with you, Jesus. Somebody desperate this morning. Anybody desperate for Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. Somebody open, open your mouth this morning. Hallelujah. And give him the fruit of your lips this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Is somebody thirsty this morning? Hallelujah. Somebody just open your mouth. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Reach out this morning. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody just reach out this morning. Somebody just reach out. Hallelujah. He is here. He is here today. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep the praise going up. Hallelujah. Because the blessing is coming. Hallelujah. Keep the praise going up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We exalt your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Somebody just give the praise this morning. Hallelujah. Let the sound of worship, let worship spring forth this morning. Hallelujah. Let the worship flow. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship. Just bow before your God this morning. Hallelujah. Nobody like him. Hallelujah. Jesus. We bless you. Somebody said let worship flow. Hallelujah. Somebody just give him the praise. Somebody just lift up his name. Hallelujah. We exalt you, God. We honor you today. We recognize you today. We acknowledge you today. Hallelujah. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord of hosts? You are mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Sovereign King, we bless your name today, Jesus. Hallelujah, we bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. I lay it all down again. To hear you say.
to God, glory to God. We bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We magnify you. We honor you. We adore you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. We honor you. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in this house. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, in this house. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this house. Hallelujah. We give you praise and we magnify you. Oh, God, we honor you and we adore you. You're worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me greet the old soul of faith. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit that is in our midst. Hallelujah. To our pastor, Dr. Chambers. Dr. Heaven Chambers, Minister Dawkins, you hear all the Holy Spirit was praying to Minister Dawkins, man. I said, I think songs so are sweet. Hallelujah. Thank you. I know it wasn't him alone praying. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit manifests itself in different, different ways. Hallelujah. Sweet, wonderful guitar playing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We magnify you. We honor you and we adore you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, it's our second week since our convention as, as um, past. And hallelujah, I can still feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. In this house. And as our team says, it's not too hard for God to. Hallelujah. And there is so many things we are expecting him to do, especially in the midst of this congregation. Lord, and we just want to thank him. Hallelujah. As we go higher, oh, him team. glory be to the name of Jesus. And we bless your name. You look so wonderful down there. And for those who are viewing us via you stream and Facebook and they have different medium. We just want to welcome you to Rescue the Persian Deliverance Ministry. And church, will you just wave your hands out there so not in the air wave. And welcome our viewers that are watching us near and far. And we welcome you to be a part of our service today. Hallelujah. As we come to worship God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We give God thanks this morning. And we bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you who still have your convention book, we're going to sing. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. It is, if you have your redemption, it's 78 in the redemption. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to get out of our seat, get your tambourine. Clap your hands, stamp your feet. Hallelujah. And we're going to have an old-fashioned revival. Ah, God, Zionite meeting in the house of God. And this is our fifth Sunday in the month. Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you thanks and we bless your name and we magnify you. To Jesus Christ, our resurrected Savior and Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Could you stand, please? If you have your redemption, it's 78 in the redemption. And if you still have your convention book, it's on page 27. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Could you raise it for me, please? Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you are able to sing, to win. There is wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, 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 power. power. Oh, the land. 
of your passion and pride There is power in the blood Power in the blood Come for a cleansing of Calvary style There is wonderful power in the blood
co-pastor, Pastor Ivan Chambers, ministers, deacon, deaconesses, exhorters. Father 
God, we'll not rob you of your praises. Lord, we'll not shortcut you of your praises this morning, God. Because it's all yours. It's all yours, Lord God. Not the last of us. the Lord. In Psalms 103 verses 1 and 2 said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. It's not hard for God to. It's a small thing for God to. Shall the church say amen? It's not a big thing for God. It's a small for God too. Hallelujah. I, I heard a, a preacher said he used gold and made street. So it's not odd. It's a small thing for God. So I know some of you don't get it. He used gold and made street. So it's not hard for God to solve your problem. It's not hard for God to solve our financial problem or whatever it is. It's not hard for God to. So when somebody call you and they're going through, just, just repeat it. It's not hard for God to. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Because he hasn't forget the benefits towards us, his children. Shall the church say amen? Shall the church praise God? Shall the church lift up the name of Jesus? Shall the church magnify the most high God? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. We are indicted in a good matter today, church. Hallelujah! Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Mountain on every side and the Red Sea before us. Hallelujah! Fear are behind us, but we have overcome. We have overcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, with your tambourine. And jump to your feet. Oh, God, and make a song. Hallelujah. When we cross over. Oh, you know that we cross over. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Jesus. We shall overcome. Our clothes by your side. We shall abide. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. I feel good in my thought today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because my eyes have seen the glory. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, I don't know about your eyes. But my eyes have seen the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, Master. I just want to thank you for the victory. I just want to thank you for the financial breakthrough for this church. I thank you for the breakthrough and lifting the heavy burden of my pastors. I just want to thank you, God, for remembering us, Lord God Almighty. Many were the plans of the enemy. But God... You can't shoot for us, Lord God Almighty. God. Hallelujah. Praise so we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. Because your benefits are dear. And it's the air and heaven. It is sacred in eternity. Lord, and we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We are forever grateful. Lord to you, we are forever grateful, Lord to you, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, because of time, we have to move on, our sister Royal is coming to do the welcome for us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. I want to greet the Holy Spirit who is in our midst today. And I want to give a special greeting to our pastors, Dr. Reverend Taylor Chambers and his lovely wife, Reverend Dr. Yvonne Chambers, I welcome you. And I also want to give a special welcome to anyone in the audience who's visit visiting us for the first time, second, or even third time. I want you to stand and tell us your name and who invited you. from Jamaica Bible Church yes. in Adelphi and yes. St. Catherine. God bless you. In the house of the Lord is Liberty Hall and I feel at liberty here today to worship God. Bless his name. Praise God. Thank you.
Christian Deliverance Ministries. I want to thank you guys for being here. I just want to let you know that you're in the best place. You're at the right place at the right time. And I want you to just open up your hearts to receive a blessing from God. Thank you for being here.
Jesus, if you have a testimony, one quick testimony, just run, 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 come. Run, come and testify. Amen. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord up in here. Amen. I said praise the Lord up in here. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know God is good, say yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. Right before a convention, let me tell you what happened to me. You want to know what happened to me? I got fired. I got fired. Come along, come along if you have a testimony. I got fired right before a convention. And I was stressed because I couldn't give the convention offering. I couldn't do none of that, right? But you remember, it said it's not too hard for the Lord to. And you know what's good about me getting fired? I was, aside from days I had class, I was able to come to convention. Amen. And they love to put me on the closing shift. Amen. Amen. So, aside from class, I came each day and I praised and I was just like going on. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, the week after, three interviews in the same week and now I got a job. I'm working at my school, so I go from work to class. It's beautiful. So when they say it's not too hard for the Lord too, it's definitely not too hard for the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Come on, praise God with the brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship him. Glory oh, to Jesus. God. I can worship the Lord Hallelujah. this morning. Jesus. I have a testimony. I remember a few years ago, I came in and I testified at a Sunday night. I wasn't testifying. I was talking of an experience. And no one, most people didn't understand was what I was talking about. As a Christian, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm trying to live a life, and I know I'm living for the Lord. And I was oppressed by Satan. I'm not talking him demon, I'm talking about Satan himself. I used to feel the presence of a snake lying beside me night and day. I am talking about brethren. I wasn't sleeping. Sometimes it comes when I'm not sleeping. I'm wide awake. I have to say to him, but you're bright, team. You're bright. I am not sleeping. And you still come. Some of the time after I rebuke him, him leaves. Some of the time I'm feeling so tired and drained. I said, Satan, you're quite all right. Me, I go on my bed, go sleep. Brethren, one night I was at work because the thing followed me at home. He followed me at work. So I know I wasn't imagining things. One night I went to work. And I fell in the mood of worship. And I was worshiping and reading the word. And like about, usually I read until about 9, 12. Because sometimes I said I'm going to bed early. And I just set up reading. Turn off my phone, read and worship. And one night it was about 9 o'clock. And after I finished taking care of my patient, I want to sleep so bad that the, the Bible was actually falling out of my hand. And I said, Lord, maybe you want to show me something. You want to speak to me tonight. And I just said my prayers and I go to my bed. It was up like about 11 o'clock. This time it didn't come when I was awake. It came in a, like I was sleeping. I was actually in a dream. And I felt the thing. But it always attacked me from the back. It never faced me. But I always knew in myself that this thing feel like a snake because I could feel like the thing somehow it just feel like a snake to me. And anyway, um, I went to bed and in the dream it, it, it came in and I turned my back to the wall and it came to the back again. But this time it was sucking the life out of me. And I was, I was like in a setting, in a church setting. And I was calling to some people who was worshiping. And I was saying, help me, help me. This thing is going to kill me. Because I was trying to pull it and shake it off. But I couldn't. I heard Pastor give a testimony like that before. And I can identify with what he was talking about. And same time, I saw this brother. And he looked around at me and said, I am coming. And he came and he tried to pry the thing off. But... He just couldn't pry it off. And he said, I'm coming back. And he came with like a rod. And he pushed, put, I don't know what he did. But anyway, I knew the thing came off my back. And I wanted us to look around, but I was afraid. Because in the dream, I was saying, so is it really a snake? Should I look around? And the Holy Spirit said, look. And when I look, I saw the brother with the snake, all in the snake by the neck. And this long Till body was behind him swing. And I, I look at the thing and it was like a, the biggest snake with the biggest head I've ever seen. 
And I look at it and I said, you are such a coward. You always attack me from behind. Brethren, the snake open his mouth and talk. You know that, you ever watch those movies, you see these things in some guttural voice, whatever, and the snake look at me and he said, no! One of the most herbless demonic voice I've ever heard. And I said, I am delivered. Yeah. And I jump up and I start to worship. I called pastor the other day, I start to sing this song. When I come, I couldn't even remember, I called pastor, I said, pastor, where the song where the, 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 the men always sing? My God delivers again. Amen. The song said, my God delivers again. Amen. I start to worship and I storm Satan. And I storm his kingdom. And I said, I am delivered. Yeah. You know that thing happened from last year? Never come near me Amen. again. So when you see I'm praising God, I am delivered. I know demon from the pit of hell cannot, will not oppress me again in the name of Jesus. So no matter what, what the enemy want to try, I am a servant of the true, I most living God. And I intend to worship. So when you see me worshiping, not all the time it's tush. Sometimes me have to worship. Because when me dear me yard, me worship. So sometimes me come to church, me have to worship. So when you see me worshiping, me I worship because I am being delivered. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God glory. I'm rejoicing for a number of things. Uh, we got two more weeks in here, right, Pastor? We get extension for two more weeks. I am not coming out of here dead and dumb. No. I'm coming up out of here in style. So if you want to sit down and be cute and just rest here and I'm being, I am, we are coming out here in uh, style. In, in style. In Hallelujah. Style. Where is the scribe? You know, start writing. Each of us are going to take up a pun from those Ooh. years and from the gate that we're going to march out in style. Because we don't know where we're going yet, but we know that something is out there waiting yes. for us. Yes! Oh, Jesus. We are the people yes. You can't close your hand yes. and worship. Come on. Nobody, you look like nobody will catch your vision yet. Lord God Almighty, let give you three more weeks. We're coming out of... Oh, Jesus. We are on the rescue heights. Hallelujah. I refuse to fold my hands. I refuse to lock my mouth and start a morgan. And I refuse to lock my hand. I am gonna worship. And we're coming out of here worshiping God. When they were exodusing from Egypt, the people had never had the time to lock on a cruise boat. And of cute here style come out. They have to grab their things and worship God and come out. Some of us don't even catch the vision. I know. I'm not going to sit down for the rest of the three Sunday or two Sunday. I'm not sitting down. I'm not falling, man. Victory is ahead. Come on. Jordan, ready for open and ready for us. Yes. Red Sea, done, Mark, Mark. Lord God. Mountains can't even touch us. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. The blessing that God has given us. I do a physical see. But Jesus. You better start praising God. You better start praising God. You can't lock him out and praise God. You can't fold your hand and praise God. You can't be cute and praise God. You have to open your mouth and praise God. Hallelujah. Abraham was ready to exodus. Moses was ready. Miriam and her timbrel. I should start to write song. That time fear I was behind. Come on, give God praise to the house people. Praise Lord God. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Believers, you see, um, worship is work. Those who go to the gym, you have 50, 50 pound weight, 10 pound weight, 20 pound, 30 pound, up to a thousand pound weight. And I, I, I know those who are uh, uh, um, 500 pound weight, you know. I know if I waste them, sit down. I know the 1,000 pound waiters. 
Because when Mr. Worship, they're still going. They're building some spiritual muscle. Let me tell you something, believers. We're worshiping God out of this place. Jericho wall didn't just come down. Uh, 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 that worship bring down the wall. Hallelujah. You don't catch the vision yet. You don't see what God is doing yet. Hallelujah. Come on, every lifters. We are no more lightweight. Let me all tell you something, especially for those who have been with us from the beginning. A prayer and worship. So we cannot come out here less than this. Church, it's prayer and worship. Keeps us. We can't live less. It would not be fair to Almighty God. And for what he has done for us. Prayer and worship. So we live in here in style. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So if you catch the vision, jump to your feet. Grab your pocketbook with your tithes and offering. Lift them up. And lift them up to the Almighty God. And let us come out of this place. Hallelujah. As a victorious God. Hallelujah. Him turn water into blood. Him cast lies and frog. Hallelujah. And kill our fear of first born and every first born in Egypt. So everything that was entering us with the dead. Hallelujah. God killed them. Everything that was entering us in our sight is dead. Because it's not too hard for God to. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have overcome. Come on, brother, brother Morgan. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's not here. Brother Campbell, come. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, okay. Come with the announcer while the, the um, tithes envelope are handed out. Sister Teresa, if you have a testimony in the same breath, testify. Bless the Lord. We worship the Lord. We bless the Lord this afternoon. We lift him up. He's worthy to be praised. I don't really have a testimony. I greet my pastors, all the deaconess and deacon, the ministers, all the saints, all the visiting friends, my stepmom in the midst with us this morning. I hope I can get my father to come next week. Um, yeah, so I'm just giving God thanks. I don't really have a great testimony. But you know, I sat there. I, <laughs> yes. But you know, sometimes like you have a testimony right off the bat. Um, I'm just saying like testimonies do come in small portions. You don't have to wait like till the big thing happen. I'm seeing where God has like blessed me in many ways, like comfort me in many ways, like speak to me in many ways. And I'm just saying that he has delivered me so much. I'm seeing where I've been down feeling out, and I see where he just speak to me in my dream. He speak to me like through people. I, I remember one day I was just, um, I got up, I was just there one afternoon getting ready to work and I was just crying. I was just crying, crying like, you know, so much things just going on, I was crying. Like sometimes some people just see a smile and all jovial, they just don't know what you're going through. And the phone um, rung and I saw Pastor, name came up on it you know I, I thought I could you know hide my tears and stuff so I, I took out the phone and just you know trying to I don't put I thought it was possible for some reason minister always I use faster phone I don't know why <laughs> so she was like are you sleeping I'm like no minister and she was like um you know she just I guess I was trying to hide it and then she was like what's wrong and I, was, I just let out and just just start crying even more and she was like i was like minister i'm so down i'm just looking at it during the time that she called like god just let her call right in the moment just to comfort me and she prayed both she and pastor they took turns and they prayed and they lift my spirit up and i see we're like sometimes i would just go to my bed and i cry like endlessly cry myself to sleep i, I wake up in my in my you know in my sleep crying too I, you know, sometimes I would just get up and I would just get a word. I would just get a word. I remember minister said to me that one day she would want me to share, but I couldn't come to church because I had to 
until my sister's graduation. And when I went to my bed, and right in my dream, I got a message, and I got up and I wrote it down. And I said, look at that, like, you know, God gave me a message, like, and I feel like even though the message to come out and share, it's for me as well. So my testimony, like, my, my ongoing testimony is like, I know that God is still telling me that he has my back, he will comfort me in the time that I'm down, and in the time that I'm sad, that he will comfort me, and I should not give up, no matter what the circumstances, I should not give up, that he not leave my side, he's there for me, it, regardless, he will dare to comfort me in my sad time, my happy times. And saints, I just want to encourage you that sometimes we feel down, sometimes we don't have nobody to talk to, sometimes we don't even want to tell people our situations, that we don't want to look over burning them. But just take it to God. He understands. He understands and that he will just bring you through. And trust me, I know I'm having a greater testimony to come along because he's taking me. It's a process, but me in my human flesh, I like things just on the go. I love things my way sometimes. And I like things fast 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 and uh, you know I think he's slowing me down he, he think I'm moving too fast in my head like you have too much plan you have too much plan wait wait on me I know he's telling me that because so much things in my head I have plans 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 so he's trying to slow me down maybe think I can't handle it sometimes I say oh God you're not blessing me the way I want but sometimes I feel like I'm I can't handle the blessing sometimes God don't give us such great blessing because we're not in the position to handle it as yet so just wait on God, just wait, and I'm just encouraging myself that I'll be waiting on him. Just pray for me, pray for me. I'm, I'm in there, I, you know, I manage like 60 like young people, and it's hard. And that is one of my biggest trouble. I love my job, I'm grateful, but that's one of my biggest trouble. Like, so just pray my strength, saints. Pray my strength, and trust me, I know I'll be up here with a greater testimony, with my testimony that I'm living in God, and living in faith. Bless the Lord. And I'm going straight in the announcements. So there are these announcements in mind, okay? And um, I want to welcome the viewers as well. Like, welcome you to all you viewers that view in whatever channel, through whatever channel, media that you're viewing. We invite you to worship with us at our address, Rescue the Parish in De Lawrence Ministries, 455 Rogers Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11225. Our order of weekly services, Sunday schools. Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m., followed by our divine worship, which begins at 10.45 a.m. Youth fellowship every Sundays at 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Mondays we meet for a men fellowship, that's from 8 p.m. to 10. Tuesdays, prayer meeting at 7, followed by Bible studies at 8 p.m. Thursdays we also meet for a weekly fasting, that's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please remember to share the words to your friends if they're unable to attend our service on Sundays. They can watch us live at www.rtpdeliverance.org. We can also be seen on BCAT TV every Mondays at 10.30 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7 a.m. Cable Vision Channel 6 to 9, Time Warner Channel 56, RCN Channel 84, Verizon Fios Channel 44. Also, you can watch us on YouTube, just type RTPDM in the address bar. Reminders, our choir practices are every Wednesdays at 8 p.m. If you're a member and want to be a part of the choir, please see Minister Chambers. Blessing of Babies will be done on third Sundays of each month. Let us know if you're celebrating an important event so that we can celebrate with you. Last Thursday, May 26, exhort virus and brother Lauren celebrate their ninth anniversary. <laughs> so bear man, inform us if you have any celebrate celebration um celebrating moments. Let, let us know so we can celebrate with you. Pastor is asking the brethren to keep on praying for Minister Ivan and himself. Trust in the Lord for a mighty breakthrough and to continue to pray towards our church building. We are, all, we are asking all the brethren to remain, remain for a very important meeting after church. Pastor is asking for your cooperation, so please remain after church for a brief meeting. There will be no service here tonight as we will be supporting Power of Faith Ministries in their youth convention. Upcoming events. Our annual prior breakfast will take place this Saturday, June 4th at 9 a.m. Tickets are now available. 
Review the notice board for upcoming events as well, and let's support other churches. The Groom Faith is inviting, to, inviting you to their annual bus ride to Sight and Sound to see the show Samson on August 3rd, 2016. September 3rd. Sorry, September 3rd. The bus leaves at 7 a.m. sharp. So that's on September 3rd. The bus leaves at 7 a.m. sharp. Children 3 to 12 years is $100. 13 years and half, that's $155. This includes lunch, transportation, and tickets for the show. Tickets are now available. Please take advantage of the payment plan. Your ticket will not be confirmed without a down payment. Last day for all payments will be July 31st. And please, no credit. You can start your payments today. Please see Deaconess Doddy or Deaconess Hutchinson. Size and offering, should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me, but you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of the tithes and offering due to me. That's Malachi 3, verse 8. Thought of the week, and this is coming from pastor's desk. These six things do at the Lord eight. Yea, seven are ab abomination unto him. A, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. These are announcements for the week of May 29th to June 4th. Please act upon them where it's possible. Thank you. Thank you. I'll back to the moderator. Thank you. Now it's time for our tithes and our offering. Please stand. Brother Campbell, are you coming? Brother Morgan. Okay. Hallelujah. May we all stand the tithes and offering in your right hand. Now let, let's pray. Father, we exalt thee. Father, we honor and adore thee. We bless thy holy name. We thank you, dear God, for this and our privilege, Heavenly Father. We can come together, Heavenly Father. God Almighty, in terms of paying our tithes and offering. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for jobs. Lord, we pray for jobs, our better jobs. And Father God, we've seen the result, results, O oh God. Father God, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are doing, Heavenly Father. Father, remember that those who do not have a job at this time, dear God, provide for them. Lord, and those, Heavenly Father, who have jobs and not paying their tithes, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you soften their heart, Heavenly Father, that they can honor you, honor you, oh God Almighty. Lord God, we give you thanks for all that you have done, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please stand and hold your tithes in your right hand. Repeat after me. As we give in today's offering, we believe the Lord for jobs are better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, settlements, estate and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and return, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, Finding money, Finding money, bills paid off, off. debts demolished, demolish. royalties received, Royalty. soul saves, soul and bodies heal. Body. It's offering time, it's, offering time. it's giving time. It's giving time. Praise, God. Praise God. I've seen the light. In flashing of earth, the thunder roar, a fencing breaker dashing, trying to conquer my soul.
never to leave you. Ooh. And we bless you. Lord. Pastor is coming with a word. But to show you the awesomeness of God, I was at work last week and I was watching, you know, it's healing service, they say, for the month of May on, on TBN and I was watching and they were praying for somebody and they pray for this young girl. And I said to, said to God, God, let the, let, let the prayer be next for the eyes. Yeah. And exhort her. Immediately I said, God, let the prayer be for the eyes. The man said, the pastor said, and, and you're out there with your eyes. Lord God Almighty, I didn't know that. I, I just realized when he said, before you call, you know your thoughts before it come into your mind i said can something be so real he said you're turning this way and this this eye which will be the right of me is the left of you i said jesus i 
hand to God, you pray. Never to leave me alone. I don't know, you don't have a testimony, no. Never, never alone. No. And you did promise me, God. Jesus. There's a word for you. He promised you. Come on, tell yourself that he promised me. Come on, tell yourself that Jesus promised me. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody was cute enough to say, uh, uh, Jesus is the answer. And they tape it, uh, they have it on the car. Jesus. Yes, Mother Edna, he promised you. Uh, and they tape it, tape it on your car. You know that sticker said, Jesus is the answer. And somebody was just teas teasing or, or, or just trying to make trouble and say, what is the question? And they stir up the man. You are in sin. Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. You're bad or you're out of that. Jesus is the answer. You are crack and cocaine. Jesus is the answer. You are harlot. Jesus is the answer. You are homosexual. Jesus is the answer. You 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 if you don't repent, you are going to hell. And Jesus is the answer. Come on. Jesus is the answer today. Praise the name of the Lord. Please stand, everyone that can stand. Everyone that can stand. If you can stand, please stand. As I hand the mic to our host, Pastor Reverend Jim. Let's make you welcome. It. Somebody bless the Lord. He promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. Oh. Never alone, no. Lift your hand as you sing, everybody. If you believe what you're singing, he promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. Can somebody make some noise for the Lord right now? Come on. The Bible said make a joyful noise. It also says make a loud noise. Amen, somebody. Come on, just love him up today. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we lift you up because of who you are. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the great high priest. Come on, everybody, lift your hands above your heads and let's give God some praise. Give God worship. Give God glory. Come on, are your hands working? Let me see all those who have two hands. All those who have two hands. Let me see you put them above your head and just open your mouth and just give God a praise. Let them see you in, in, in Japan. Let them see you in Germany. Let them see you in Portugal. Let them see how you worship God in Jamaica. A lot of people watch us in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, uh, we are second watched by people in Jamaica apart from the United States. And most of other people where, 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 where this program is watched are seen is Jamaica. Thousands upon thousands of people, viewership in watching us in Jamaica, in the United States, and other countries around the world. So let's make some noise, give God some praise. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord God. Mm, God is good, amen. God is a good God. I want to greet you all. In the exalted name of the Lord Jesus, which is, which was, and which is to come. He's still God. He never sleep, never slumber. If God ever take a break, Satan kill us off. Amen. You don't understand that? If God even wink his eyes, Satan just brush us. But thank God he never sleeps. He never slumber. He's God all by himself. Amen. Amen. Greetings to all the ministers. Amen. Bless him of the Lord. Praise God, my wife. Amen. Thank God for her standing by me. Me standing by her. Amen. Appreciate you all. Reverend Dawkins. Amen. Reverend Julius. Juliet Douglas. Reverend Edwards. All the evangelists, deacon, deaconesses, exalted Christian workers, missionary. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Amen. 
And we're happy that you're here today. Those of you viewing, um, Sister Garden, she said to me, she cannot come because of work. And she said, Pastor, I always hear call her and her name's them. Amen. So I'm making sure I'm calling her name today. She's watching us, amen, amen, because she's at work. Sister Garden, now we're calling your name. Amen. I want to greet you. Watch Sister Garden, evangelist. Amen. Evangelist Cooper. Evangelist Alisa Brown, not here today. I saw your text. Amen. I want to greet you. Sister Claudette, I wonder what you were saying when you see your daughter giving a welcome this morning. You got, you got to tell me about that when I see you. She did a tremendous job for the first time. Can somebody say amen? Tremendous job for the first time. And in this church, if you stay around us long, you know we don't keep people down. We don't keep people down in this church. Amen. Thank God. Also, amen. Um, Sister Dawkins graduated from Bible school about two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? She graduated from Bible school. I want to say congratulations to her. Raise hand, Sister Sudoni. Raise hand. Amen. She graduated from Bible school. Amen. I want to say congratulations to her. May the Lord bless you and prosper you. It's good to have knowledge of the word. Amen. It's good to have knowledge of the word. We thank God for you being here today. All right, let us go to the scriptures. Amen. Time is running away. It's almost it's almost 25 past 1 o'clock. I remember I went to a meeting after church. It's very, very important. Oh, hey, Brother Shagari. Amen. Good to have Brother Shagari and, and his mother. Amen. He was with us five years ago, right? Time went too so fast. He's, all, he's now a, 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 a police officer. Yeah. So, Amen. And I thank God for him. Amen. amen. Left us, joined the police force, and very, very big in the police force. Amen. And thank God. Amen. For him being here. He's, he, when we started out, and of course, we know him for many years, from, as his mother said, from Chemical Bible, because I used to do evangelism for them. My wife and myself used to minister for them. Amen. I used to preach my wife, sing, and all of that. I mix up with my nights, like she did today. And I thank. When is my wife making some nights? I must join her, you know. I said, I, I was doing evangelism. I used to go to their church. Almost all the churches are preached in um, Trinity, Somerset, Montego Bay, St. Thomas. Amen. And the Lord was doing some mighty thing. Portland. Amen. God is good. So we're happy to have Shagari, Brother Shagari here today and his mother for the first time. The mother for the first time. And also, um, the person that Minister Dawkins invites, or the Dawkins invite, happy to have you here today. And also, Sister Teresa, mother, glad to have her here today also. Can I ask her to stand? And when it's word time, it's not time to play with babies. Amen, everybody? Yeah. Praise God. It's word time. They say it's time for the word. It's not time to... And, and um, Deacon, uh, Brother Morgan, make sure nobody's downstairs. Here is a uh, lock the door. And if anybody wants to go downstairs, a two washroom down there. So at least two persons down there at any time. Amen, Church of God. Amen. We're gonna see that things going on. That people go down there and eat when church is going on. We're cutting that out. Can somebody say amen? amen. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. This down there is not a restroom for you to come and relax and sleep. No, we come church. Amen. Tell them about so we come church. Amen. amen. Don't come with this is not a restaurant. We come church. After church over, you can. Go down and refresh yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for um, the moderator, Minister Douglas. Thank God for the praise and worship team. We thank God for you. All those that testify, we'll give God thanks for you. And I thought we'd have some more testimony based on what the Lord did here on Sunday. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Hallelujah. The anointing that was in the house. Amen. Mark Gospel chapter 5, still on the theme, it is not too hard for the Lord too. Amen. Mark Gospel chapter 5 reading to you from verse 21. Mark 5 from verse 21. Amen. And I'm going to ask you all to stand. I also want to welcome, amen, Sister Davis' son. Amen. Didn't see him for 20 eight, eight, 18 years. 18 years. Of, 18 years. And I guess there was a great reunion, man. He couldn't, I, I, I really, your son, not you know, like God. JJ, he look, looks so much like JJ. My God, amen. JJ not talking to me now. JJ not talking to me today. I'm, 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 I'm sick. All right, we'll talk, JJ, all right? Amen. Give me a smile, JJ. Praise God, amen. 
All right, happy that you all are here. Mark Gospel chapter 5, please. On the top, theme still for convention. It's not too hard for the Lord too. Verse 21, and when Jesus was passed over again by a ship onto the other side, much people gathered unto him and was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. Tell somebody to be positive in your ax skin. Come on, say be positive in your ax skin. And Jesus went with him, and uh, much people followed him and uh, thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years, and we know the story, so let's skip down to verse 33, 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Verse 35. This is where I want to get to. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue house certain of which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid. Only believe. That's why I said, Be not afraid. Only believe. And he allowed no man, your Bible said, suffered no man to follow him, save the inner circle. Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see at the tumult and them that wept, wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make he this ado, uh, ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laugh him to scorn. But when he had put out the doubters, I put them all out, he take the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him that would include Peter, James, and John and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took, this is important, look at it carefully. And he took the damsel by the hand. Never said the dead child. He took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, now the woman, the child is dead. But Jesus said unto her, the dead thing, Talita Kumi, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And uh, straightway the damsel arose and walked. For she was of the age of 12 years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. Come on, Jesus. And commanded that something should be given her to eat. It is not too hard for the Lord to take care of the issue. Tell somebody that. You're not talking to somebody. Say, neighbor. It is not too hard for the Lord to take care of the issue. You sit so fast, dear God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Stand, church. Stand, church. Stand. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, lift your hand and give God some praise, everybody. Now you may be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is not too hard 
for the Lord to take care of the issue. Touch your neighbor and say you have issue. Yeah. You have issue. Every one of us has some issue. Everybody has issue. Everybody. Some have it more than some. But to every person, there is something happening in our lives that we need some attention from God. Help me, Holy Ghost, today. But whatever it the issue may be today, we as sister, one the, the, welcome, sister, sister Royal. So get the name, Sister Royal. Forgive me, please. As sister Royal said, you're at the right place at the right time. Why are you at the right place at the right time? Why? Because the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is in the house. You remember when Jacob was on his way to pay that air and he had a vision and he said the Lord was in this place and I knew it not. He missed an opportunity because he had a great issue. Oh God Almighty was running away because his brother wanted to kill him because he stole the birthright and he lied that he was Esau was helped by his mother hallelujah and when the father recognized he was deceived and, and Esau recognized that Jacob had robbed him of the blessing he wanted to kill him Jacob had a serious issue and was running away to pay an Aaron because his mother sent him there to look for his, his uncle hallelujah so every one of us there are some things that we are struggling with there are some things that is happening in our lives that we want God to give us uh, some attention today hallelujah and if you are that person say lord i am that person i am the one that has the issue and need some attention from the lord you better help me and give god uh, a praise because god is about to come through i don't know why god waits some time until things get worse for him to manifest himself but i hear somebody say that, that the heart of the battle is a sweeter the victory can you give god a praise here issue I need some attention because I have an issue I want God to do something because of my issue now Jesus had just come back from the land of the gathering where he cast out about 6,000 demons out of one man this man, the Bible said, they could not tame him. He was in the tomb, cutting himself. Amen. Blood would gush out. Whatever they chain him with, he would burst it because demonic forces real church of God. And as, amen, Sister Elisa testified, it's the only who feels it knows it really, you know. Amen. Sometimes we may see folks going on and, and we don't know what they're going through, but they're still giving God praise. They're still giving God some glory. They're still giving God, giving God some honor. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? And so the Lord cast out the demons and, and set the man free. And he said, Lord, can I follow you? And the Lord said, no. Go and tell what great things the Lord had done for you. Go back to Decapolis and let the people know because they knew who you were. And the best people to testify to about your change is those who know what you are going through. And they see the difference in your life. Hallelujah. Can you give God a praise? So Jesus just came back well charged, well anointed. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says the Lord gave him the spirit without measure. Hallelujah. In the house. And so as Jesus got across, here came Jairus with his issue. Glory to God. Being a ruler of the synagogue. He was 
high in society, a great position in the church, we would say then. But he did not allow his position to, di to dictate his need. Oh God, somebody help me. Oh, you know, sometime uh, there is a need that we have, uh, but because of our situation, we allow it to dictate what we need from God. Uh, and when we should be giving God some praise, uh, we allow it to keep us back and hold us down. Uh, but I don't know about you today. I have an issue that need attention uh, from the Lord. Uh, somebody help me give God uh, a praise in the house. Uh, and I believe that God is about uh, to fix some issues in our lives. Uh, can you shout and give him glory? And Jairus issue was his daughter. He had a daughter that he loved. He had a daughter I believe uh, that he admired. Uh, so when he saw Jesus uh, he fell down uh, and in my term I say Lord have an issue I have a problem I need attention oh good God somebody help me somebody say Lord uh, raise your and say Lord uh, I have a problem uh, I need attention uh, so this it was really a problem and this was a serious one some of us it's are just simple things but we appear like it's so great and if we listen to other people, Israel, other people probably would say, well, me don't really have nothing going on. Hallelujah. Because always somebody always have something more great, uh, greater than us. So, so he did not allow uh, his situation, his position uh, from, from allowing him from reaching out to the Lord. Uh, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, you know, I know sometime uh, we are faced with some issue some problems that would even prevent us from worshiping God am I talking to somebody today because when we examine what we're going through it we say it doesn't make any sense I worship because of this situation it dictates that I put my hand at my side it dictates that I close my mouth but something told Jairus Jairus I'm going to fall down uh, and worship God. Uh, I don't care uh, what my colleagues think. Uh, Sometimes uh, you got to forget uh, about the person beside you. Uh, as Dr. Hebert says, uh, when you come to church, uh, stretch out your arms, two arms. And said, this, uh, this place, uh, this seat uh, is worship here. Uh, come on, somebody. Because of an issue and I need attention. Uh, anybody want some attention uh, from the Lord this afternoon? Uh, uh, God, can I preach Dr. Chambers? Uh, anybody want uh, some attention uh, from the Lord? Uh, you got to learn. Uh, get, uh, get above your problem. Uh, get above your situation. Uh, don't allow it uh, to dictate how you worship God can I talk to somebody you know sometime you feel like you want to worship but the problem says keep your mouth closed your bills need to be paid somebody just accuse you of something that you did not worry of they are to charge you wrongfully and he says shut your mouth don't praise God but it wasn't God who accused me it was man so it means then I've got to praise the Lord I've got to honor the Lord is there anybody here you have been accused wrongfully and sometime you go to church or you come to church and the accuser is still in church and the devil said watch him watch her watch the hypocrite and then you pay attention to what the devil tells you and when the person that you believe that accuse you they are worshiping God and all you are doing is cussing them out so while they are being blessed you are being robbed by the enemy who am I preaching to this afternoon you have an issue that need attention somebody help me in the house but good God almighty you are at the right place and God is about to touch down in this house God is about to walk along your black along your avenue and let you know don't focus on the problem don't focus 
us and the individual but turn your eyes upon Jesus look full in his wonderful face and the problem the issue will go strangely to him in the light of his glory and grace somebody help me in the house lift your hands up and bust a hallelujah it's not too hard It's not too solid it's not too tough it's not impossible it's not too rocky talk to me church of God hallelujah you see Jairus could have said it's over for my daughter so I don't know if he knew that Jesus would come at that time but all he knew he had a issue he had a problem because an issue is a problem really all I knew he had a problem he could have been waited or accidentally he was there at the harbor when Jesus came across and sometimes God has a way to show up you know and we may think it's by accident why some of us are here today are hearing this word today it is by design sometimes God set us up to bless us but God didn't tell us that it's a setup him just bless us anyhow and that is why the Bible said in everything we should give thanks can I talk to somebody because even when we may think is the devil doing something a God who is working behind the scene somebody shut down there even when we think it's an individual who is at us. Can I tell this church of God uh, that God used Joseph brothers yes. Oh, yes. to get him to his destiny? Yes. So if God has to use some of my brethren uh, to get where I need to go. So let it be done, Jesus. Yes. Can somebody say hallelujah? Yes. So let it be done. All I want to know that I'm walking accordingly to the word of Almighty God. Uh, and so Jairus, he forgot his position, he, he forgot about uh, who he was and he decided, you know something, because when he fell down it was a form of worship can somebody say man and, and we think sometimes we are so dressed we are so slick that we would not even fall and prostrate in our pretty suit can I talk to somebody we believe that my suit is too expensive honey, it can't be too expensive to get a blessing from God. Come on the church of God. I, I, if I know by doing this, I will be blessed. Brother, if you even want to step on me, go ahead and step on me. Because I know why I prostrate. I know why I kneel before him. I know why I lift my hands. I know why I open my mouth and bless the Lord the way I bless the Lord. Because God is a good God. Is there anyone in this church that needs something from the Lord today you got to learn how to put aside your problems can I preach like I'm hearing it got to learn to put aside those that criticize you and decided I'm still gonna worship God is there a worshiper in the house did you bring a praise did you bring a worship did you bring a thanksgiving even if you never brought it with you you should receive one by now because the atmosphere is ripe for worship can somebody stand to your feet and say God you're a good God say God you deserve worship God you deserve the honor could you shout and bless him in the house Jairus he fell down Lord God somebody help me and bless God today Jairus fell down rule of the synagogue this is one thing and if you say that about my wife and myself then you're not talking the truth but cow is one thing we do we worship you have some pastors that only worship when they take the mic yes, yes, yes. and curse out other people when they get the mic. Yes. 
Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. And they would curse out other people. So you, why don't you praise God? And when other people were there leading, they were not taking part. But not so with my wife and myself. We are in the worship. We worship together. Come on, somebody. And whoever is preaching or leading, we get involved in it. We just don't wait until we get the mic. Can I talk to somebody? Come on, the church of God. We must get involved all the time. Listen and say, God, help me to worship you. Help me to honor you. Thank you. Help me to magnify you because you are God. So Jairus recognize I have an issue. I could lay aside, didn't show up, but I'm still coming out for duty. And so he fell down because he had an issue, he had a problem that needed attention. And, 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 and he said to Jesus, he said to Jesus, he said to Jesus, and he besought him greatly. He besought him greatly. Look at the church of God. He never said, Jesus, we need help. No. He keep on pressing on Jesus. Lord, me need attention. I love my daughter. And, and she can't be helped no other place. I took her to doctors. Doctors can't help her, Jesus. He besought her, sought him greatly. When you really need something, you don't just say one thing and you give up. You keep on repeating yourself. Let them call her a, a repeat, and it's whatever the word is. Oh, you talk too much about the same thing because you don't know like I know. Hallelujah. Me in need. If you have raw flow, you need water. Come on now, somebody. If you have dry peas, you need water. So some of you bread butter already, you know. So that's why you can't worship God, but some of us, we don't even get the bread yet, but much less the butter. So we're going to worship God until bread and butter come. Oh God, somebody give God a praise down there. He besought him greatly, says there's no problem to holler out to Jesus. A Sunday over the same issue and Monday over the same issue and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday until we get his attention. Can somebody help me in this? Oh God. Somebody help me and praise God. The man had a problem. That's why Brother JB sing on a one prayer. Me pray. Me pray in a day, me pray in a night. Hallelujah. So I pray about the same condition and I ask others to pray also because I'm beseeching God greatly. I need attention. I need something to be done. It's not too hard. God Almighty Jairus' daughter, he said to Jesus, my daughter is at the point of death. Otherwise, medically she can't be helped no more. Hallelujah. So I need you to come. And Jesus said to him, I will come. Tell somebody, say he's coming along your path. Oh God. You need to tell at least two neighbor. Neighbor, he's coming along your path. Can I talk to somebody? If you ask him, he is he's coming in your direction. Oh, somebody help me, no man. You kiss me look dim rubber shock and see you kiss me look dark right now your issue look dark right now but he's coming because you ask him to David said I was young now I'm old yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken I receive begging bread it appears sometime it take him so long to get to your address but can I address this congregation all I want to know my wife said some months ago probably over a year ago that God get the letter him hear your request all I want to know is that God get the letter from God get the letter then everything uh, is all right uh, God Almighty somebody help me in this house uh, and give God a praise uh, tell somebody God get the letter send you about God get the letter otherwise God get your request uh, him, uh, him hear what you have said mm. watch this watch this so Jesus 
heard what Lazarus said, he knew that he really loved his daughter because he besought him greatly. Probably man are crying. Big man are crying. Rule of the synagogue crying. And he said, look, Jesus, me really need help, you know. When last you antagonize God? When last you really antagonize God? Say, so God, I mean, no. And we're, we're talking things, deacons, that you may say for. And we, she, uh, the, 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 the Lord said, Come down, let us reason. And, and our prayer, he said, Reason, if I'm prayer. Amen. So, God, God, I like what's going on, you know. God, God, a long time I pray about this, you know, God. Me need some help now, God. Can I talk to somebody? I need some attention now. God, what me, me not belong to you like other people. Look how other people testify and then saying what God has done for them. So, what about me? Me, me a bastard, God. I don't pray that I talk. I reason, I reason. Come on, but when you pray, say, the most holy father, I approach you right now in Jesus' name. I want you to know how excellent you are. But now, when you talk, God, say, God, me need help right now. Can somebody say hallelujah and bless the Lord in this house? So Jesus was on his way because Jesus got the request. Can somebody give the Lord praise? So he's on his way. Say, neighbor, he's what did you ask him for? He is not too hard for him to fix your issue. Oh, somebody help me in this house and give God a praise. Jara said, My daughter is dying. What is it that you have died today? What is it that says it's not going to work any further? Seem like it's dying and sucking the breath out of you. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. It seems like it's about to floor you. It seems so hard. It looked impossible. The doctor's report, the diagnosis from the doctor is not good. It's a bad report. It's like Sennacherib report was true about those he conquered and he was showing off. Can I talk to somebody? And, and, and Hezekiah said, of a truth, Lord, in my words, what he said it's true this man has conquered many places but, 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 but then I know you are God somebody say I know you are God tell him say I know you are God oh God almighty I know you are God so the, the show off and say, I know you are God hallelujah give God praise in the house and, and, and God comes through because Sennacherib they came with every intention to take over Judah and to possess the land and it would appear like they would succeed come on somebody but there is a God in Israel tell the closest person no, tell yourself there's a God in Israel who will defend you tell you said there's a God oh God Almighty that will defend you oh somebody help me and bless him right now come on give him a praise give him a praise it's not too hard for the Lord to take care of your issue it's not hard now watch it church so Jesus was on his way and we know the story about the woman had the issue of blood I mean she was bleeding I don't want to focus on that today um, but we know that she pressed through and she got her breakthrough but Jesus was not on his way to her Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house. Mm, oh God Almighty. Have you have you received the church of God? So so I can see God blessing somebody. And in turn, God blessing somebody, I get a blessing out of it. Oh God. It wasn't meant for me. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Oh God, it, 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 it was horrible shame it. It wasn't meant for me, Deaconess Harris, but I saw an opportunity to get a blessing. It's like if I see God blessing Deacon, I say, God bless me too. But he was the one originally it start from. So Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house and somebody 
somebody saw an opportunity to get a blessing and brother one thing about me if I see God blessing somebody me want somebody to hallelujah it didn't come for me but I want some because what good for the goose good for the gander come on somebody and if I know it's blessing from God I want it to shout I want it to and you know you may have issues and as I said before it, it dictates that you shouldn't praise God but then because what you see the Lord doing for somebody you decide you know something I'm going to reach out right now you know I'm going to God you're good it, it may not come out good the first time because of what you're going through you may have to keep on saying God you're good and even when you say you don't believe but you still are saying oh God am I talking to somebody you're saying it because of what the Bible said, but you have not yet experienced it for yourself. I've heard that you're good. So you know what? God, you're good. And by you saying that, something begin to stir within you. Help me somebody. Something begin to stir within you. And then it start come up more real. And then, then you find that your hands are in the air. And sometimes tears begin to flow. And, and you lose out of yourself. And then what didn't look so real now becomes real. Because this is what you call a sacrifice of praise come on the church of god you didn't feel like but you decide i'm going to despite how i feel can you give god a praise and so we know that she got a blessing but it was not meant for her originally but she was blessed because jesus was on his way to help jairus daughter now watch this watch this minister Evan, watch this when Jairus spoke to Jesus, his daughter was alive. But her state was very grievous. And he said to Jesus, my daughter is at the point of death. Will you come and lay your hands on her that she may live? And Jesus says, I will. Yes. Tell the pastor he will, he will, he will, he will. Yes. It's not too hard, it's not too hard. The condition is grave. My issue is grave right now. But it's not too hard. Can I talk to somebody? Tell the pastor it's not too hard, it's not too hard. It's never too hard for God. Even when God allow the situation to become stagnant, you ever wonder why God allows some condition to become stagnant? Maggot infest it. And you're praying, Oh God, you're a good God. You hear, you answer prayer. And then see them come and tell you, say, See there, may I tell you? Say, God doesn't answer your prayer. Look how long you're praying about the same issue. And instead of it getting better, it's getting worse. How am I preaching? I'm preaching myself, as a matter of fact. I'm preaching to my wife and myself today. Because sometimes, when you look at some issue that you have, instead of it improving, it appears like it's getting worse. When Jairus asked Jesus to come, the daughter was yet alive still. When Jesus decided to go, the daughter was yet alive still. Jesus was on his way to take care of Jairus' issue. When words came from Jairus' house, don't bother the master anymore. Otherwise, tell Jesus, turn back. Turn back. Am I preaching to in this house? All about Shanda the Bear. The condition is done. It's over. Your child died. Oh, good God Almighty. 
Ah, uh, you got to be careful whose report you're listening to. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, be careful, come and talk in your spirit. Uh, because there are some people they operate only by sight uh, and not by faith. Uh, can I talk to somebody? Could I use Brother Lawrence for example? The lawyer said your case uh, you have to go back to Jamaica. Can I talk to somebody? As wife mentioned, was it last week? Uh, but when God get ready to step in, uh, God calls laws to change. You know understand God you know God bringing laws uh, because one person uh, exalta because you're praying now Spirit understand the thing was not exist before it was not in existent before there's nothing that looked positive before but prayer was going on you don't understand the value of prayer and when Jairus asked it it was a request he made it was a form of prayer he made and Jesus said I will hallelujah and so when Jairus got the word from home said look the dams is dead don't bother the master anymore I come to tell somebody stop listen to doubters can I talk to the church there are some people they don't believe for nothing watch your association brothers and sisters some will come and tell you don't you see that we're not going anywhere oh no things not working for rescue the perishing but brother I'm going to hold on I'm going to wait until my change come Lord somebody help me in the house tell somebody say wait oh God until your change come Paul said don't jump off the ship if you jump off you're going to lose your life as exalted Morgan said was it last week tell somebody say stay on board because he's coming true our God who am I preaching to he's coming true he's coming true it doesn't look so now but he's coming through somebody give God a praise give God a praise hallelujah tell yourself he's coming through he's coming true he got the message he got your request you are on file Lord Jesus I love that Holy Ghost I am on file it's not like the immigration officer when they get your file but if you are black somebody they put your file at the bottom but if you're on God's file it's always on top come on the church of God tell somebody God is always watching over your file that's why the Bible said no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling if God was watching our box we did long time can somebody help me in the house and give God a praise he got the request he was on his way when somebody gave a bad news bad news from lawyer brother Lawrence bad news from lawyer it won't work the devil is a liar if God works for you he can work for somebody else could you shout in this house and give God a praise it's not too hard for the Lord to take care of your issue somebody give God a praise this Pack the report uh, we are hearing uh, because some of us uh, were getting some bad report, uh, but the Lord is saying, uh, Be not afraid. Uh, tell somebody, Be not afraid. Uh, I don't care what you hear, uh, I don't care what they say. The Holy Ghost said, uh, Be not afraid. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, tell yourself, say, Call your name, uh, Chambers. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And Jesus said so. It's not man said it. And Jesus said so. If Jesus said it, I'm guarantee that everything is gonna be alright. Can you shout yes? Somebody says it's gonna be alright. Honey, it's gonna be alright, honey. It's gonna be alright. Not many pastors as preach and kind of wife, honey. <laughs> but truths are really in my heart, Mr. Honey. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And who don't like it, don't bite it either. Because you can't bite what you don't like. Can you shout in this house and give God a praise? Hallelujah, somebody. I believe the Lord is coming through. We've been getting some 
negative report. I choose me don't know some negative report, but I believe what God said. Paul said, I believe an angel stand by me tonight. Talk to me, Holy Ghost, and said, No lives will be lost. Stay on board. It get rough at times. There's no night. It's just night. No sun for how many days? And sometimes, can I tell the church? It may get even shaky in a ministry, but as long as the Lord is in control, everything's gonna be all right. Can somebody help me and give God a praise? We got a word from God. God said, "I should come back to New York, and I'm here in obedience to the Lord God, and God will defend us, Minister Ivana. God will see us through and rescue the perishing. We'll survive. Somebody help me and give God a praise." Hallelujah. And just in case uh, you decide to jump ship, uh, God has allowed us to jump on ship. I love that, deep. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, just in case you decide to jump ship, God has others to exalt a Morgan to jump on ship. You ever watch them straight? Uh, and the man, uh, the boat are uh, uh, just a uh, go on. I uh, just a uh, go on, matter uh, go on. Yeah. The boat just a uh, ride on the water. And fish on uh, jump on the boat. You ever see that TV yet? Fish just, fish just start jump. They're not throwing no line. Fish just start jump. They're just jump. And they're jump right in the boat. That's what God is going to do to this ministry. God will allow us to go on. And people are going to come left, right, and center. I believe God, as Paul said. I believe what the Lord said. Because I heard God. Can somebody say hallelujah? And so Jesus said to him, be not afraid. Uh, why would Jesus say that? Because every one of us at some point, point, face fear. Up to this pastor. I remember I went to the doctor, do a blood test and get a telephone call. He need to come to see the doctor now. Heart start. If you went to the doctor and they told you Come in and see us now. Me, me call my wife. Me call evangelist Marcia Dean. Oh God Almighty. Come on, somebody. Human is something you're going to feel. Something at times. Amen. And so when I went to the doctor and they were, they were, they were telling me, I'm off. My wife reached before me. Sorry, I didn't know I, I told my wife. What the doctor said, and my wife reached doctor before me. Want to know what it is? Because I simply don't know what it is to be in love, really. You know, you, you don't know what it is really to be in love. When you when you love your spouse. And your spouse love you. You just, you care so much, and you yeah. want to know things are right. Yeah. And so, and then Evangelist Dean said, Pastor, sometimes not not much, you know. Amen. And uh, and the people are gonna scare me in a deacon. You know, you think sometimes at the big C, them C, you know what I mean? Come on, somebody. And when I go, they told me it was this, and it can be taken care of. Amen, somebody. Something with thyroid. Amen, Church of God. And it's getting better and better and better every day. Again, the same Church of God. Come on, somebody. But each of us, there's a, a fear that comes on us. And the only time you don't feel that unless you're dead. It does matter how spiritual you are. Something will come across your heart and you're gonna feel away. But thank God, the song man said, Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus, He's a friend that's well known. And so the Lord said to him, Be not afraid. And I'm saying to my wife, Be not afraid, honey. Be not afraid, only believe. And some of us, we are we have issues that will cause fear. It look hard, really, in the church of God. The, the situation look really difficult. But it's never too hard for the Lord. And, and so the Lord said, be not afraid. Only believe. Jesus was on his way to fix the man issue. When he got a report and watched the deacon, they never came to Jesus. They came to Jairus. 
Remember who you talk to. Remember who you talk to. It was not your husband. It was not your wife. It's Jesus. It was your boss. It's Jesus. So even if they are giving you a negative report, remember who you talk to. Uh, I love that. I said, remember who you talk to. Who you told the problem to. Remember, say it was Jairus told Jesus. And they came to Jairus. Amen. While Jesus was present there. And when Jesus heard the word, spoke to him, he said, Don't worry yourself, J Jairus. Secular. I'm here. Be not afraid. Only believe. Tell us, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And sometimes, church of God, we may be going through some things, or sometimes some things may be coming. And the Lord may say it may look hard and difficult. All about Shandy. But deacon and your wife, don't be afraid. Amen. Don't, don't be afraid. It may look difficult. I don't know what it is. It may look hard and difficult. But God said, don't be afraid. Don't, don't be afraid. God is looking at the file. He, he knows everything. He sees everything. Can somebody give God a praise? And, and, and so while, while he was going on, then now watch this. Then Jesus got rid of some people. He got rid of, hear me, church of God. There are some people you cannot journey with. They are not good to hang around. Oh, God Almighty. Somebody talk to Pastor Chambers. Jesus put them aside. And there are some people with all respect you got to put aside. They may get vexed, but brother, I'm protecting my soul. Can somebody help me? And sometimes some people call your phone. Ask them, why you call me number four? To gossip, don't call me back. I don't want to be trapped in your net. Oh, somebody shout and give God a praise here this afternoon. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. God, somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. Listen. As I receive it. Remember what you told Jesus. So if you hear a bad report, remember it's not coming from Jesus. My speak of the Holy Ghost. Remember what you told Jesus. Mm -hmm. But the report you're hearing is not a good one. Remember what Jesus said. Be not afraid. Only believe because fear can trap us. Fear causes us not to worship. Fear causes us not to want to leave our houses and stay within our corner. We are by ourselves, and then fear begins to begins to dictate how we're supposed to live. Fear begins to tell nobody like you. You are alone in this. You are isolated by yourself. And then we begin to listen to the voice of fear. And then we are so captured by fear. Hallelujah. That not even worship we want to worship God. So when the Lord said, be not afraid, he knew why he said that to him. And Jesus continued on the journey. He didn't really carry Barcelona. Name the rest of them. Thomas. Thomas. Matthew. The younger James, Alpheus, he didn't carry them. They were part of his team, Brother Lawrence, but he never carried them. And sometimes, Pastor will leave some of you. Not because Pastor don't like you, but because of the connection in the spirit. Where I'm going, I want people to support me, to stand with me, to be there with me, who will never leave me nor forsake me. Jesus took Peter, James, and John. And he went in. And when he got there, the child was now dead. And he said, look, the 
child not dead? They laugh him to scorn. What will you share your vision with? There are some people will laugh you to scorn. Honey, this now go work. This can't work. It never worked. The devil is a liar. It, it didn't work for you, but I believe God. I believe that God is able to do what he said he will do. Somebody say amen. And so Jesus went over and Jesus said, Talita kumi. He never said dead child. Because there are some people that we write off. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. There are some situations that we write off. Oh, God. That God has not written off. Come on, the church of God. There are some brethren or sisters we may write off. God has not written them off. He's calling them by their name. As a matter of fact, not even Lazarus. Him said, dead, come forth. Him said, Lazarus, come forth. He said, Talita, come He said, I say unto thee, arise. And the Lord is saying to your situation, arise today. Because you've been dormant for too long. It's getting up time. Stand with me, church of God. It's getting up time. Tell at least three person. The Lord said, arise. Arise. That which was dead, arise. What is it that you want to come alive? Identify it. My eyes, Lord. It's my kidney, Lord. It's diabetes. It's high blood pressure. Whatever it is, arise and be normal. Oh, somebody get happy and give God a praise. It's not too hard. For the Lord to take care of the issue, to fix the issue, to solve the issue. Someone said, take care of it, Lord. Take care of it, Lord. So what is the issue? What, 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 what am I facing? What is so difficult for me today? What looks so hard to me, but not to God? Somebody said, take, take care of the issue, God. Come on, raise your right hand. Say, Lord, take care, take care. Take care of this issue. Ah, oh, Alisa Brown watching me. Tell the Lord, take care of the issue right now. Evangelist Alisa Brown watching me. Tell the Lord to take care of the issue. Rabba Shakandara. Whatever it may be. Tell the Lord, take care of this issue. The woman, right up, we didn't touch it much, but she had a bleeding issue was her problem. Some have financial issue. Some have marital issue. Some have some health issue. But whatever the issue is, uh, issues are today, he is taking care of it. Even when it dies in our eyes, he can still fix it. He can still fix it. The woman's son died. The husband said it's not a new moon or Sabbath, but she said it shall be well. It shall be well. Minister Ivan Chambers, my wife, my darling, I prophesy in your life this afternoon, wherever you are, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Because Jesus got the request. It shall be well. Father, we bless you today. Come on, bless him with me, everybody. Father, we honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We magnify your God. We magnify our God. We magnify our God today. Lord, you're taking care of our issues, Lord. And so, God, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we honor you. Come, bring my wife out here, please. Bring her here. All those that need special prayer, come on down here right now. Jairus besought him greatly, 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 greatly. 
Jairus besought him greatly because of the need he had. He besought him greatly, 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 greatly. Hallelujah! As you come, just lift your hands above your heads right at this altar. Just come closer, come on closer, come on closer. There is an anointing in the house. There is an anointing in the house. Whatever is the issue today, that's the word from the Lord. He can fix it. He can fix it. He can fix it. He can fix it. He can solve it. He can make a way where there is no way. He can open doors. It may look grave today. Hallelujah. It may look rabasha kanda rabose. Ilaboshi kendi di bi ende debe. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thou art God. Thou art God. Thou art God. Thou art the Almighty God. Thou art the everlasting Father. Thou art the Prince of Peace. You are the bread. You are the wine. You are our water. Ah, oh, God, is there anything too hard? Is there anything? Is there anything too hard? You said to Jeremiah, it's not, not, is there anything too hard? Hallelujah to God. You make mouth, man's mouth to told Moses. You are God. You are God. You are God. Who made the dumb to speak, the blind to see? Hallelujah. The crippled to walk. Who turned water into wine? Who said, let there be light and there was light? Who said, let the waters bring forth and it brought forth? You are God alone. You alone. You alone. You alone are God. Somebody help me give God some worship for us. Let's give.